So, welcome back guys to a very exciting video because we are going to be going through some new artwork for Ark Survival Evolved Genesis Part 2. We've also got a bit of stuff for Ark 2 in today's video as well. And I will be leaving the link in the description to um, Caleb, who is obviously the designer that does a lot of work for Ark Survival Evolved. And I'm really excited to show you guys all of this stuff. Big shout out to the art community for finding this out. I know not a lot of people know about this. That's why I wanted to share this video for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you are hyped for Genesis Part 2, we're only a month and a few days away. I think now a month and 10 days or something. Smash that like button for the final DLC of Arc. Uh, well, I was about to say for Arc 2, for Arc 1. Let's see if we can get over 1,000 likes, guys. Subscribe if you're new around here as we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. And let's get in to the artwork for Genesis Part 2 and Arc 2. Now, the one thing I want to mention about the Arc 2 stuff is not every single bit of the concept art did make it into the official game, but he, de he did say that most of it has come to the official game, or is coming to the official game. So, anyway, let's get in with it. So, the first thing was more of a Genesis Part 1 moving into Genesis Part 2 thing of a survivor, obviously, in a ship. I think this is this must be some sort of, like where you're beginning on the because what I know about Genesis part two is that we all we land that we're landing in some ship or something um, and escaping from Genesis part one at the end of the ascension as you guys if you've completed Genesis part one then you will know and then we're meant to be spawning on the colony ship with the new tech federation suit and the tech pistol now I don't really know how it's going to work in the sense of like getting better equipment i don't know if you're just going to keep upgrading your tech federation suit but this looks like kind of a starter thing where you're going to be like waking up so confused on genesis part two and like where am i let's find out what to do now we've got our tech tech federation suit on which i suppose we'll be probably putting on um at right at the start of the game it's gonna feel like halo it really is but i loved halo so that's what i like a lot now, the next picture here, I feel like was, um, I couldn't work out whether this was Genesis 1 or Genesis 2. Um, I think this is Genesis 2. I'm not 100% sure. You guys will have to let me know. Um, but I know a lot of some of the artwork in the older ones was Genesis 1. Still looks really, really cool. Have no idea. Can't work out what this is going to be right now. But all I can work out, that there is some rings. And uh, it kind of gives me that aberration feeling from when aberration was first released. But, like, obviously not on a broken broken arc on some sort of spaceship and then moving on to the next one this was very very interesting now i don't know if you guys agree with me here but if you've seen the film wally -E, um like obviously wally -E, <laughs> that's my great impression there um it kind of gives me that sort of vibe like this big colony ship where people have moved on to and people are living on there and you can see loads of survivors sort of walking around there with different types of armor on some of them look like they've got like rex bone helmets on and stuff and then i can't really work out what i can see you can obviously see that they're in space in the background um and i didn't want to miss out stuff there's normal trees from the biome and there's this middle part but it looks really really cool that's all i'm saying to you guys um and it's just mad how the how big this ship is going to be really when you think about it because there's all these different biomes that are going to be on it and uh, these obviously the new ones we haven't seen yet now this next one is actually one we have kind of seen and um, that wildcard have shown us but this is where the giant rings are going to be and one part of the biomes for Genesis Part 2. Now, we can't really see any of the creatures apart from some flying birds flying around. Um, you can see that. I mean, it, again, it gives me such Halo vibes. Everyone talks about it, um, about how it really does and how, like, you know, these missions were, like, where... There were just so many that remind me of Halo. Um, but I like the idea of this. Just hope we don't... Fall, when we're walking along this, we don't get hit off or fall, and, fall off there and lose your tames. But it's going to be one new experience, Genesis Part 2. It really is. Having the mixture of a ship and actual sort of lands. And there's Rockwell's special chambers and weird things like that. And there which is going to be interesting 
Now, this one, um, I think, was a Genesis Part 1, but I quite liked it, and it was called the Mood Biome. I wanted to show it to you guys anyway, because um, obviously I feel like they kind of got this idea from, um, uh, I think they got this idea from the uh, from the sort of Swamp Biome. But I wanted to add this one in, because I thought it was a cool early design. I know it's nothing to do with Genesis Part 2, but I thought I'd still show it to you guys. Now this next one, the next two for Genesis Part 2 are looking very interesting again. You can clearly see from here, there's a Pteranodon up there. That one looks more like a, I, I think, is it a tape jar? I'm not too sure, but again, it could be another Pteranodon. Um, and then we've got a survivor walking down here, and this looks like some sort of ship. Now, I doubt we're going to be flying off of the colony ship. I really don't think Wildcard are going to have the, the, the tech and the, and the work in it, really, to get to a stage where we're going to be flying in little ships around the actual colony ship. I mean, that would be insane if that's going to happen. And I could be underestimating Wildcard. That could always happen, but it looks like there's going to be little tech rooms on, on board this ship. Really weird that we've got dinosaurs inside a a ship. I, I mean, it would be nice to learn the story behind it. I was going to see if like, you could see anything special going on in any different corners of it. But as always, if you guys spot anything that I don't spot in these, then let me know. Um, but yeah, so that's Genesis Part 2 there. And again, one very, 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 I think this is the final Genesis Part 2 one before the Ark 2 ones, but... We've got some sort of scout drones flying around, and we've got three survivors walking away here. And if you look closely, um, you can see it could be an oviraptor. Um, there's a little dino there, um, and in the background there looks like there's actually stone and rubble. Does that look like it could be... No, I don't think it is. I thought for a second it could be legs, but... People are saying that these two survivors could be like Helena or something. Um, but uh, And well, one of them being Helena and one of them being another character. And that could be Santiago. But I don't think Santiago is returning until the end of the... Well, until the start of Arc 2. So maybe he'll return... Um, at the end of the episode, uh, well, when I say episode, I'm making it so I suppose there is an animated series coming out, but, you know, the end of the Ascension. Um, so I can't really see anything else really hidden here. Um, I mean, as I said again earlier, if you, this one is a really big one, so if you see anything, let me know. And I think after that, this might be moving on to some sort of Arc 2 things. I mean, this could still be Genesis Part 2, as that's uh, Caleb there, if you do want to check um, him out. Uh, but yeah, this is, I don't even know what this is. I can't, it, it, oh, they've all got some link to Genesis and um, Arc 1 and Arc 2. So this could be the destruction of Rockwell, maybe. Don't even know. Um, but it looks cool. All the rocks and things flying around. That kind of looks like one of this, uh, the implants. If you guys can see this here, it's the same shape as the implant on the arm. So you never know with that as well. You're moving on some more concepts. This is moving more into Arc 2 now. Um, so I do like the idea of this. Now, bear in mind, as I mentioned at the start of the video, not all of these are in the official game. Um, but um, he was he was just making sure we knew that because he wanted to keep... I mean, you can't throw away art if it doesn't make it into the game because it's still fantastic. Um, so yeah, more, uh, more art there. And then moving on to this one, I couldn't really work out what this was. Um, but I think this is meant to be more Arc 2, um, and I thought it was Genesis for a second, but you can see a survivor down there with a long, holding a stick. I don't know if it's a, a saw, I think it's a stick, because um, Arc 2 is meant to go back to the primitive days, um, so maybe that's what it's going to be like more, but that is a very interesting biome. Um, the next one I thought was even more interesting because obviously this is Arc 2 and we can zoom in more and have a little look. So you see some planets in the background, but you also see two survivors holding their bow and arrow. We see a... this... I mean, I'm not saying... because this c couldn't be... might not be the official one, but... You see in the background a, you do see, what was it called? I can never pronounce it, but you know, at Christmas it's a reindeer, um, a Megalosaurus or something. It's not Megalosaurus, but I always just get the name wrong for them. Have I have since the 2016 arc. We've got some flying birds out there. Um, look that they could be snow owls, but I doubt they will be. Um, and then they have the bow and arrow, which is, as, as I mentioned to you guys, it's going to be more primitive um, gameplay, which is why there's no tech weapons there. And I'm sure Wildcard will have some form of idea of bringing back tech in the future 
But I don't know. I don't know what their roadmap is at all for Arc 2. Now we've got four more to look at. Again, this one being quite a similar one to this the other biome we looked at before. Um, I mean, what costume is that? It looks like he's got some sort of like Batman costume on. Um, but again, similar one to we what we looked before. Looks like there's some streams of water down there. Um, and then this looks like a, some crazy tree biome. Now, you can get those vibes of the trailer from Arc 2 in this, in my opinion. Um, and now, I don't know what weapon that is meant to be there, but it looks like a primitive sort of stick spear. Um, and then, obviously, the survivor over there... Sorry about that. The survivor over there is uh, is carrying a bow, so interesting stuff. And there's lots of floating rocks and, and whatever. Um, and then the last two, we've got this same bat uh, uh, Batman-looking character. Where was that? Was uh, was it back here? Was it? Yeah, as you can see, but then in a different kind of biome. Um, I mean, these biomes look like you're crazy. I I I'm not. I have no idea what we're going to be expecting for these, but. Um, nice little artwork, and that looks like that could be some sort of face. Um, and then the final one, uh, again, is this similar one we've seen for a lot of the pictures. But again, two survivors standing there with a bow and arrow. I reckon that's probably Vin Diesel. I know it has, doesn't look anything like him, but um, what they've ended up working with, uh, with in the game, Vin Diesel, and then obviously the, the other people that were with Vin Diesel in the trailer. Uh, but yeah, that is the full load of artwork we have got right now for Genesis Part 2 and Arc 2 that is unseen. Um, so I'm glad to be able to bring this to you guys. Huge shout out to the, the artwork, uh, Caleb. A uh, link will be in the description down below if you want to go check it out. And Arc 2 is getting close. Well, not well, let's not talk about Arc 2. Genesis Part 2 is getting closer now, guys. And I really, really cannot wait to land on the colony ship or not land i'd say take off in the colony ship for the first time in just over a month's time smash that like button guys if you are excited let's go for over a thousand likes subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you guys in my next video see you guys later